And welcome to a brand new edition of Hannity's America. We get right to our top story tonight and our next volume in the real Barack Obama series. Now, it appears the Illinois senator is trying to move closer to the center as November approaches, leaving him to flip-flop on many, many issues. The time has come to build a new majority that can lead this nation out of a long political darkness. He's promised to change the way Washington conducts business, but it seems that Barack Obama is already backpedaling on his word. John Cass is a columnist for the Chicago Tribune who has followed Obama's political career. Barack Obama is a Chicago politician. The, despite what the liberal media says about him, he's not the boy King Arthur pulling the magic sword from the stone of City Hall. I mean, he's a Chicago politician. And I find all this, uh, this hand-wringing from the liberal editorial boards uh, shrieking that he's betrayed them and so on and so forth. Who do they think he was? He's a Chicago politician. He's going to do what he has to do to get elected. Even though Obama is trying to march toward the center as November approaches, there is one thing that will always hold him back, and that is his liberal voting record. The National Journal reviewed Obama's 2007 voting record in the Senate. Their examination found that Obama by far was the most liberal senator in Washington. But as November approaches, Obama is slowly starting to attempt to move from the left and maneuver closer to the center. That's the Chicago way. You do what you have to do to win. And he's, what he's doing now is he's abandoning principle in order to win. Here are a few examples to help prove the point. From the start of the primary season, Obama has promised to immediately begin withdrawing troops out of Iraq if he were elected president. I will bring this war to an end in 2009. I opposed this war in 2002. That's why I will bring this war to an end in 2009. I will bring this war to an end in 2009. It is time to bring our troops home. But now it seems he's had a change of heart. I've always said that the pace of withdrawal uh, would be dictated by the safety and security of our troops. And when I go to Iraq and I have a chance to talk to uh, some of the commanders on the ground, uh, I'm sure I'll have more information and will continue to refine my policies. And it is not only a stance on Iraq that has changed, Obama continues his march to the political center on multiple topics. From early in his political career, Obama has always been a staunch supporter of gun restrictions. But a few weeks ago, after the Supreme Court struck down the D.C. handgun ban, Obama changed his position once again. Prior to the ruling, Obama had been quoted as supporting the ban, but this was not the case after the decision came down. I have said consistently that I believe the Second Amendment is an individual right, and that was the essential decision uh, that the Supreme Court came down on us. Here's another Obama flip-flop. Earlier this month in Ohio, Obama hoped to court evangelicals by vowing to expand President Bush's faith-based initiative. I believe the change comes not from the top down, but from the bottom up. And few are closer to the people than our churches, our synagogues, our temples, and our mosques. Obama talked about expanding Bush's policy of sending tax money to religious groups that provide community service. But that is the same program that liberals have complained about for years. And just this week, Obama voted in favor of the new FISA bill, which exempts telecommunication companies from lawsuits stemming from wiretapping cases. In the past, Obama had been adamant that he would oppose any bill that would provide such immunity. It seems Obama is undermining his own promises in order to win the Oval Office. Even on his campaign website, Obama supporters voice their concerns and their disappointment. Obama's flip-flopping on a wide range of issues has not gone unnoticed by even his staunchest liberal supporters. The left-leaning New York Times ran a story about how he seems to be abandoning his extreme liberal positions. One op-ed read, quote, but Senator Obama is not just gently moving towards the center, he's lurching right when it suits him. And he's zigzagging with the kind of reckless abandon that's guaranteed to cause disillusion, if not whiplash. We reached out to the Obama campaign for a comment, and they responded, quote, Barack Obama has always made the case that one of the strengths of his candidacy is his ability to put labels aside and bring Americans from all sides together. And he spent the campaign talking about the core values that define us as Americans. Obama's message today is the same as it has been since day one of this campaign. 
this whole notion that I am, you know, shifting to the center or that I'm flip-flopping or this or that or the other. You know, the, the, the people who say this apparently haven't been listening to me. I am somebody who is no doubt progressive. But what does that mean? The sharp shift in Obama's policy is raising a lot of eyebrows about who the Democratic candidate really is. Obama is, was an empty vessel. And you had a, many reporters, political reporters, looking at a guy they did not know who made one speech at the Democratic Convention in Boston, and immediately they were calling him the next president. They were in love with this guy. They can't believe that this guy would dump them. Obama is running on a theme of change, but it looks like the junior senator from Illinois, well, is really just more of the same. Now, that's just a few of the issues that Barack Obama has flip-flopped on. Now, in order to cover them all, we would have had to dedicate our entire show to the topic.